Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome back to some more Nova Drift, or welcome to it if you haven't caught it before. If you've never seen it before, I should probably mention that it is, it's a bullet purgatory roguelike, which are, what do I even describe those? Let's re-roll, let's grab swords. If I can actually swing them, there we go, these were added in the last update, and I barely know how to use them well, so that should be kind of fun. Uh, let's see, shield is orbited, do we want the orbitals? Yeah, sure. I actually know what those do. So we're looking for research, hullbreaker, assault, specter, courser. I'm curious about how this would work. There's also like the carrier so I can get the basic constructs. What I'm looking for though is engineer gets extra bonuses to my constructs. Architect, only deploy one construct at a time. They have improved damage rate of fire assembly speed, uh, extra hull, mine effects, and size, specifically. Okay, so the entire goal here is to uh, very much focus heavily on my swords, make them hilariously huge to the point where I can maybe sweep the screen with them. It's unlikely that I'm gonna be able to pull that off, but you never know. Anyway, yeah, it's a bullet pur purgatory roguelike inspired at least in part by Path of Exile's uh, intense, uh, ooh, Discord right from the get-go, sick. Uh, Path of Exile's extensive uh, character customization options uh, to create genuinely one of my favorite roguelike upgrade systems I've ever seen. Uh, effectively, you have like a bunch of different perks that you can choose from on a per level basis, and then they have subtrees within them. So you can see like hull strength, but on the right side, it will unlock uh, absorption and juggernaut, which I think is super cool. So what do we want to do? Elegant construction. So max hull assembly speed and assembly speed per level. But what I can do, I'm not sure what shielded constructs does for my swords. It could screw me over, but it could be really funny. Um, oh, it actually gives base hull and max hull for doing shielded constructs. I might want uh, self-destruction so my swords blow up when they get destroyed. And then specifically, uh, I could go for overseer what does Overseer do with a weapon like this? I have no idea. And we don't want ally. I wish there were banishes in this game. Let's just go for elegant construction. I'm going to I'm going to either screw myself over or I'm going to do a really fun thing. I have no idea. Whoops. Don't do that. There we go. I think I'm mostly just going to hang out and sweep this guy. I think his main two attacks are like the dash and summon bugs. And uh, let me tell you, I'm kind of specifically built to destroy that. Discharge now deals shields of self damage to you. So this is infused. When you fire your weapon, gains added damage equal to 400% of self damage dealt by discharge divided between projectiles fired. Okay, so we might want to pick that up. That could be kind of fun. There's a lot of weird builds that have been added to this game that I'm not actually sure. Reverse knockback and pulls directions for you and your constructs. I'm not sure if polar inversion does anything. Maybe it does. Does it scale my my swords? I can actually look at it. I have no idea if it scales at all based on... Um, yeah. Attack speed scales with rate of fire modifiers to both weapons and constructs. But I don't see anything that would, would specifically scale... Uh, anything that is related to blast radius. Uh, let's see, do we want to do splinter? Does splinter even do anything for me? Probably not. Uh, let's grab self-destruction though. Because yeah, I want these swords to, to blow up in people's faces when they inevitably run out of durability, which almost sounds like a weapon that belongs in a Dark Souls. Like specifically Dark Souls 2, considering that game had some durability problems. It probably does exist in fact. Uh, let's see, so do we want Galvanic Outburst? I could. When your shield takes a hit, discharges bolts, burns enemies. It's not a bad idea. Uh, let's see. So I could go for priority zero. Uh, destroying enemies makes my swords come back faster. Total rate of fire... Oh. Wait. Total rate of fire and rotation speed for nearby advanced non-weapon constructs. So that doesn't help me at all. Tactical Link would. 
Yeah, so I could actually go down priority zero's tree. Because this would give me extra rate of fire. The other thing is, I want to have huge swords and I want to whip them around real fast. I've played a couple of VR games over the, over the years. Not too many, uh, but one of my favorites is uh, Until You Fall. And that game has really funny uh, sword physics, which is, I mean, you're waggling around like a tiny little VR controller. And so, like, there's no weight or heft to that game. And so, uh, nothing amuses me more than grabbing, like, a giant greatsword and then just speed swooshing it. It's not worth it, but it's funny. I don't know what double tap does, but I want to check Overseer. Specifically, it unlocks uh, Apex Machinery, which is quite good. Extra hull, rate of fire, mind damage, mind effect, shield effect, power. Those are all kind of good. And then Vital Bond, which is handy? Handy-ish. I just want to see if I can still sweep. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I have now learned that uh, Overseer does, in fact, turn off your sword. <laughs> I deserve this. All right, let's try that again. It was worth a shot. I was kind of hoping. Uh, but alas. I mean, I was warned. I was just hoping since it was a construct, it would be able to do a, a thing. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. That is kind of the beauty part of this game. It's all about experimentation. Do we want to do orbital again? I did like the orbs. And they're pretty solid weapons. Uh, let's see. Engineer. Problem is, for whatever reason, I do not actually have the architects encoded in my brain anymore. Kind of. There we go. And did I mention the reason why I'm covering this is because it's dirt cheap right now and it's coming out in early access soon enough. So we might as well go for elegant con uh, construction. It still gets us a bonus. It's not amazing though. Whereas priority zero or magnitude are good. What is this one again? Discharge. Oh, discharge as opposed to galvanic outburst. Yeah, let's just go for magnitude, big sword. Yeah, I want to heavily prioritize just the biggest sword. I don't know what weapon projectiles does on these swords. Let's see, damage increases your speed does and scales with 25% of crash damage modifiers. Oh, that's useful. Let's see, construct limit one pair, additional cannons, increase pairs. I think that's for the courser though, not this. So we're probably out of luck, at least here. Let's just go for a shield cooldown and not think too hard about it. I gotta use the actual like, hit enemy projectiles away at them. Cause you absolutely can just do a sweep and uh, repel all shots. But I think these lads are doing lasers. Uh, let's go payload. Lower rate of fire, but we want that projectile weapon size. We might also want to look into things that might possibly really crank my, my attack speed. Uh, well, we might as well go grab rate of fire. Okay. Don't want to be there when he goes off. Unfortunately, the controls in this game, they make total sense for what the game is. It still throws me off to, like, no end whenever I go back to it. It's just one of those things that there is no other game quite like this one. I There is. It's called Asteroids. But um, I don't remember the last time I played Asteroids. I was, like, seven. Uh, let's see. Do we want to grab... Adaptive armor. We don't want any of the wild mods since they are endle endlessly repeatable. I could go for volatile, sh volatile shields. And that would get us discharge. Let's go for it. I wanna I wanna have a sword that does both thunder and fire damage for no other reason than because it's cool. I used to play tabletop RPGs as a kid. 
I remember specifically having a uh, a sword with like two or three different elements on it. I don't remember what the justification was, but it definitely had both uh, fire and cold. And I think it was just the logic was freezer burn, right? Nobody, nobody in like our session knew what freezer burn was, but hey. When I swung that greatsword, I'd roll like 5d6 and it was really satisfying. <laughs> I don't actually even know if that like kind of build is kosher, nor do I care. So the one other thing I might want to grab is heavy caliber, weapon damage and projectile size. Uh, just like I said, the biggest dang weapon I possibly can. So the other option is barrage, extra projectile, base damage for weapons that hit. Weapon rapidly fires a barrage instead of burst fire or spread. I don't know what barrage does for me. It might not do anything. I think it makes it so I sweep faster, possibly. But I might want to try and mix barrage and heavy caliber together. What is this one? Farsight is pretty good. But I think I want to wait. Eventually you get the ability that you get, um, like, multiple of those. Uh, whenever you pick one up, and I kind of want that. Uh, let's see. Warpath. Actually, it's really good whenever you destroy it. an enemy, you get... Um, you get we weapon, rate of fire, and thrust. And then we can also get leaf on the wind, which is helpful. Or no, it's not leaf on the wind. What... What? Huh, it's a super mod I haven't unlocked yet. Leaf on the Wind is good, though, and potentially worth pursuing. Uh, at the very least, I will say Warpath. Uh, Warpath is like a base upgrade to solid, just because up to a 30% movement uh, movement speed and attack speed bonus is, is just nice. Because our goal is big sword that we sweep quickly. The damage can figure itself out, or something. <laughs> it is really funny when my swords get destroyed, though. Uh, let's see. I could do charge shot. I have no idea what that does for me. I guess I could mix it with Rancor. That is one option. Is I could eschew a lot of attack speed in favor of just big, big sweep. So Rancor specifically makes it whenever you take damage, uh, your, uh, let's see. Whenever you take damage, your, your weapon charges even better, which is useful. Uh, let's see, we can also do Skirmish. Ooh. After you fire your weapon, targets take additional total crash damage. We're not really going for a crash build here. It's not terrible, though. And I don't know what double tap does. So let's go for priority zero, because I know that tree is not going to mess me up. That uh, sounds like a good idea. We should probably also get some shield recharge rate at some point. As uh, I think I've been mostly picking offensive upgrades. I still remember. Uh, oh, gosh. I forgot about the dreadnought. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sure. Let's go for velocity. Okay, so I can destroy his projectiles, but I can't reflect them back at him. It doesn't look, doesn't look like any of those are able to be sent backwards. It's fine. I'm just going to sit here and just chop his face for a while. It's okay. But yeah, in the early days of this coming out back in, was it? Yeah, it was like 2019. Uh, early 2019, late 2018, somewhere kind of in that vague area. I think I was aware of Nova Drift in 2018, but I didn't really start covering it until 2019, something like that. What is this? Explosive growth. Interesting, and actually really useful, but we're going to go for core shielding for the moment instead. And discharge. Whenever you fire, zap a thing. And this will let us get infuse.
which I've never messed around with and it seems fun. We definitely need to get our hands on some level of shield recharge rate though, otherwise I'm going to just cook my shields off and that will go badly, maybe. Though, big plus. Oops. Those were my swords. Okay. I think I killed too much too much of that train too quickly. And it's messing with me. Infuse? Yes. Uh, hidden power we do not want. Efficiency is not a bad idea. But I think I might just go for the whole strength here. Okay, now that I've done that, we have burst fire, which I'm terrified of. Might be worth trying with this weapon, but not now. Let's go for the tactical link. Because my swords are in advanced constructs, they should constantly be triggering that damage resistance, I hope. I don't fully know. I'm just here for some science. Uh, but yeah, so it was like the early days of me covering this game. Ricochet. Ooh. Ooh, that's really cool. Useless to me, but really cool. Uh, let's see, shield effect radius. I really wish I had the ability to banish things. Unfortunately, that's, I think, a research... Oh. We might do a sword run where I specifically go research so I can banish some stuff. Because you get a bonus, I think, for banishing things. And normally he's supposed to be firing at me, but he can't. It's still awkward to aim this thing. But not painfully so. There we go. And my swords come back nice, nice and quickly. Uh, let's see. Snipe. Snipe is good. Extra projectile velocity. Yeah, let's just grab snipe. I think it makes the sweep, like the physical motion of the sweep, faster. But I'm not super duper sure. Ooh, this music's good. This is a new track. I don't remember it as much. I think they did an update. So do we want Calibrate? Yeah. It's okay. No, what we want is flash shielding. So it makes my, my shield total lower, which actually sucks a little bit. However, it makes it so it comes back much faster. Which we want pretty badly. And boss time and ah, uh, it's just you. The only immediate problem is I don't actually... Whoops. I don't want to be there. Oh, wow. I chopped that thing into mince. I had no idea. Uh, let's see. Max hull, assembly speed... Yeah, actually, elegant construction might not be a bad idea considering this list. Like, I could go for Siege Weaponry, which sounds funny, but also very risky. Uh, let's see. Anyway, early days of me covering this game, uh, I had a guy uh, leaving, like, very, very detailed comments on, like, my decisions on, like, how to play this game. And what I was doing and uh, whether or not it was, like, the right option or the right choice and some other things. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I like energized shields that much. Do I not have regeneration? Oh, that would help. Um, but I didn't realize at the time, but I I'd spent, like, the first, like, four or five episodes of me playing this game arguing with the developer <laughs> and so like afterwards i've actually tried to uh keep in mind like dev names when i'm leaving like heavy feedback or like talking through my decisions on how i do stuff because uh 
you know, whoopsie do. Oh, no, I should not actually stand in that thing. Let's see, overclock probably doesn't help me too much. We want... Oh, no, we have tactical link. So let's go for a self-destruction. The entire point of that is so when my swords get destroyed, it does even more damage. Ideally. I think you can also have sword mines, which is a build that I should consider going for at some point. Okay. Don't want to be there. Don't want to deal with the singularity. But I do want all the experience from all the enemies in the area. Because I'm a greedy man. Whoop. And I did it anyway. <laughs> like I said, I'm a greedy man. Oh. This is a bad group to have to encounter first after going through a black hole, but we're fine. Okay, so we do not want Overseer. I wish I could banish it. Calibrate. We do have Juggernaut. What does Juggernaut do with Singular Strike? Slows my weapon down. I think it does a ton of damage. It's not a bad idea. Because we already have the parts for it. At the very least, we want Juggernaut. I'm going to be taking some damage here, and the more health I have, the better. But yeah, I think I think I might try... Oh, does Singular Strike apply to the projectiles that come off my weapon? I swear I've tried this before, but it's been a while. Now, I think it's uh, Crucible. So here's the problem. I'm really bad at fighting the Crucible. Oh, Warp is disabled. Okay, there goes one of his orbs. <laughs> Ow, 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 ow. Those were my swords again. We're just going to chill for a second. Don't eat the rangs. Just going to not eat those. Wait for mouth to come back. It's almost dead, so, like, if I can just stay safe, I can sweep him right here. Oh, I think that's the first time I've ever actually beaten him. Unlike most of the other ones, uh, most of the other bosses, he's, he big spooky for me. Uh, let's see, Scorching Wave would be nice. Shield Effect Radius isn't terrible. I don't think I want regenerative shields because it hurts my regen. It's kind of nice and would offset some of my damage. I want to get... Oh, I should do a big shield build at some point. I've never gotten it to work because it's kind of scuffed, but you absolutely can just like eschew all damage and just go for shield. I wonder if it would be better to do that with the research ship. Like, I'm actually starting to wonder if the research ship is is secretly amazing. Okay. Extra damage, total projectile size and weapon blast radius. Projectile fused adds an additional 50% of its damage to your projectile. Each projectile fuse increases the size and blast radius of your projectile. Uh, screw it. Okay, so I still have my two swords. That was my big worry. I think my damage is huge, but it's hard to say. I almost kind of wish there was a DPS meter that I could check. Uh, but it's hard to judge. Okay. Support specialist. So extra cons uh, construct assembly speed, rate of fire, and uh, I lose a little bit of max hull and shields, but not much because I'm only investing in this one weapon. 
So my attack speed's back up to where it was. And we get to go choppy choppy. I think also my swords come back really fast now. Or at least comparatively pretty fast. I should probably also invest a little bit more into fire damage. As it seems like we are we are in fact uh setting enemies on fire. It's probably the lightning. It's probably the lightning. There we go. Kind of wish lightning was actually really good at <laughs> we have not gotten shield durability yet. Oh boy. My pools are scuffed. Uh Oh, what was it? What was I going to say? Uh something about shield durability and then I got distracted. Nope, don't have it. It's fine. I was really hoping I get my, my swords to be bigger than they are. I guess we're going to have to start investing in just like um Oh, I forget. They're not the big shots. The, um... And what is the name of that upgrade? Whatever one that makes... Oh, Heavy Caliber. There we go. I'm just going to need to invest hard into that one. All right, where are we at? So we don't want Shielded Constructs. Galvanic Outburst isn't terrible, but I don't care too deeply for it. There is Defiance, which I think is one of the only wild mods that is good or safe. Let's just go Thrusters. I'm trying to get things out of my pool because uh, there is there's an ability for wild mods or there is there's a specific upgrade for wild mods called Obsession. And Obsession is really cool because it, it doubles the amount of wild mods uh, whenever you pick them. Uh, it does have a downside of it reduces my max HP uh, the more I pick, but, you know, honestly, I'm not sure how much that really matters. It does. Like, it can be a problem. But if you're really selective about the ones you pick, it's not that bad. Okay, I'm just gonna chop him up. There we go. I think that, that's actually one of the quicker kills of the last boss I've ever had. Well, last-ish boss. I think there's gonna be others later, but is fine. Anyway, what was I going to say? Easily distractible. Uh, too much going on. Oh, I think I was gonna talk about a, a prospective, like, shielded build someday. Oh, and wild mods and stuff. I also do wonder if wild mods are actually that good or if I'm just, like, obsessed with them. I like the idea of infinite scaling in these games, but this game does have some level of... Ooh, do we want reflexive shields? We might. We don't want omni shield. That'd be bad. Because there's heavy caliber. Actually, heavy caliber is pretty good. I gotta do this again at some point where I go for an ally specialist. Ally maximum hull improves your ally's passive enemy attack avoidance. Ally explosive rounds. Ally as assembly speed. You really could go all in on that if you wanted to. So reflexive shields for some extra shields. Let's go for efficiency just to get my uh, stuff back faster. My main goal here, I mean, after wave 100, the entire goal is to stay alive. Nothing else fully matters. Because uh, you've already beaten everything, uh, like all of the bosses, and it's just a matter of, like, hanging on. Uh, we're in the bonus round. And all that matters is points now. I'm shooting for a million, because that's my general high score. I know you can get more than that. Uh, there are... Some very good Nova Drift players out there that have some pretty obscene scores. I don't play this game enough for that. I used to, maybe. But even then, I don't know. Score chasing is mostly kind of a like, well, this is fun kind of thing as opposed to like, this is my new life's work. 
Uh -oh. Okay. I'm not quite sure what happens there. <laughs> A random asteroid from abs absolutely out of nowhere. I love it. Uh, let's see. Do we want to? No, no, no. We don't want galvanic outbursts. I really wish I could banish a couple of these. I mean, I suppose I could switch to research. Oh, that's actually really good. I don't think I want it now. What? Because what's the benefit? Yeah. Architect is really good. It's the reason why I'm probably doing so much damage. But I think we might want to do a couple of research runs and I'll, I'll learn the merits of that. Because, yeah, how curated of a, of a build can you have? I know it's one of those that for research, I think the trick is you actually switch after a certain point. You start with research and then at a later date, once your build is uh, crystallized and your, your pool is curated... Then you swap to, like, Architect or something, and you gain all the benefits of both, effectively, at the cost of one level, which is worth it. Do I want to grab Volley? Yeah, I think we do. So Volley doesn't help me, or it doesn't, it doesn't. Because I have Singular Strike, we don't get extra swords or anything. I'm not even sure if we would get extra swords. I'm not really sure if that's part of the the play with this weapon, or if it's even possible. Uh, however... There we go. Just give him the mulch. Surprised we haven't gotten seen Incandescent Strike go by. I think it's Incandescent Strike. The one after Snipe that gives you the burning. Unless I already picked that because I'm a goof. Could be. Because, yeah, the extra burning on top of my sword seems like it would be a good idea. Possibly overkill. Okay. Well, there's spontaneous generation, which is always nice. Yeah, we don't want turret. We don't want shielded constructs. So I have extreme questions about, like, what that would even do with these weapons. I'm just kind of a coward, and I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Yeah, I like Spontaneous Generation. It's a basic wild mod. You only want to get one of it because they degrade over time. I'd love to find a build that actually keeps them alive somehow. But... I don't know how viable that is. Or even possible that is. With current upgrades in the pool. But who knows? Those aren't my constructs. They're theirs, rude. They send imposters at me. And mine are this nice, you know, pearly white. There's a purple. It does amuse me to no end that purple is still generally the color of, like, evil villains and stuff. Shell's unhappy about that. Her favorite color is purple. My favorite color is purple. Ow, that was some health. Not much, though. Like, I've got a fantastically huge health bar. Oh, right. Shield effect radius applies to my uh, lightning. Yeah. Really want to go for a... Uh, like a lightning outburst build, maybe. Ah, there it is. Incendiary Strike. Yeah, I could also go for Streamline or Deadly Wake or even Focus Fire if I want to try and go for even more attack speed. But this way, every time I hit something, it burns for a ton of damage, potentially. It's not amazing, but it helps for, like, set it and forget it type attacks. Okay, I'm not... I'm not gonna try and get close to them. Wow, that guy was committed. Those guys were late to the party. Or maybe they've just arrived. I don't know. Singularities in this game are goofy. Almost be kind of funny if Singularities had a chance to bring you somewhere weird.
like three levels prior or something like that. Just like a weird basic thing. Ow. Ooh, he just went through me. How dare you, B-Mobile. Okay, so what do we want? Candescents for extra burning? Yeah. Oh, right, there was a uh, big Viper upgrades. I should take a look at that at some point. Whoop. I forgot. These sucker sniper bolts leave behind damage zones. You can't just hang out in that. Whoop. That is actually often what kills me in this difficulty level, because I'm I'm afraid to move on the harder difficulty levels. Uh, or not harder difficulty levels. I'm afraid to move too much after a certain point, so if there's no enemy near me, it's not a problem. But it's a problem if the enemy left behind a damage zone that I haven't fully processed yet. Because it just looks like a cool, like, smoke trail, effectively, and it is not. It is anything but. Okay, uh, let's see, Outrage Module. Interesting, not sure what that would do. Force Armor, useful. Extra damage resistance, just baseline is nice, especially because I'm going, I'm not going to have my, well, I'm going to be taking some amount of damage here. It big ups on the swords, they also, uh, because they block projectiles. That gives me a lot of kind of easy leeway where normally I'd have to be dodging or avoiding or worrying about projectiles. I can just uh, slap them away, slap them back, in fact. Oh, we're at half a million. I think this, I think this might be a leaderboard run for me. It's weird. Like, I play this game extensively. Don't get a single, like, good score. Play this game for, like, a one-off video to be like, hey, the game's on sale and, like, dirt cheap. And, uh, but bam, it's one of the better runs I think I will ever do. Eh, nah. I'll be playing this game for years. There's a very real possibility the YouTube algorithm is going to change at some point. And it will, okay, we need to actually not be here for a moment. Wait until my shields come back at the very least. But yeah, who knows? Maybe the YouTube algorithm will change someday and, uh, I'll be in a somewhat safe position where I cannot die from that. Damn it. I forgot those guys explode. We're unlocking things. What is this? Strafing strikes. While well, strafing your weapon rapidly fires from both broadsides. What? We're progressing? Body gear unlocked. Leviathan. Oh. So I guess that had been closed off. We have more unlocks to find. And it was not a leaderboard. I was presumptive. It's fine. What's our next run? I, well, we could try the research. I have to have like a, a run in mind though. As the one problem, I'm very much a pants guy. I don't think about these things. Um, okay. I have a foolish idea. I like Siphon. Siphon is good. Okay, and we want research. Okay, so we want like maximum blast radius. Singular strike, like whole nine yards, we wanna just go big. And we want to go Mind Specialist. I don't think it targeting really helps me too much. Velocity is useful. It's vaguely useful. Okay. I know targeting can be kind of handy. It it's been a little bit since I've done this build. There we go. 
I usually stay away from Vortex because it is it is scary. And hard to work around. Alright. Toast him as well. Alright, I was going to consider going for a shield build. Probably still will. Whoa. That's a new pattern. I don't think I've ever seen it before. Seen to do before. The, like, uh, sweepy shot. I like that, actually. Okay. What is the button? Oh, I have no idea what the button is to banish. Kind of expensive to actually banish that one, but whatever. Blast radius? Yes. Okay. Challenger. Summons a challenger, champion, or boss, bearing increased power and orb drops. Subsequent challenger is stronger. Interesting, but we don't want it right now. We want high explosive. I don't know what invert inversion would do on this one. Probably screw me over, actually. Okay, we could go for Concentrated Blast. There's also Antimatter Rounds. Maybe. Enemies Rupture when destroyed. Polar Inversion. Knock back and pull directions. I think that would be bad for me. Yeah, do I want this? No, that one's actually kind of good. Do I get rid of Polar Inversion? Whoa, what is this one? Deflagration. Destroying an ignited enemy consumes any ignites and trigger deflagration, dealing blast damage to nearby targets. Whoa, okay, we want that actually. I guess I should remember to get rid of any con construct focused upgrades like turret uh turrets and minions and stuff. I'll have to keep that in mind next time we level up cuz we want to curate our pool. If I can. If it lets me. This I can get rid of. We ain't skirmishing today. Let's grab those mines. Oh, right. I should have taken a look. Can I actually see? Oh, show super mods. The one we're looking for is Mortar. So we want Overseer and Mines. I want to just go for Vortex Mortar today. Maybe. Okay, ow. Went poorly. Minefield. Probably worth it. Okay. Avoid the missile. Boyo. I love eating those guys. Let's see. Bravado. Enemies are always elites or champions if possible. Bravado is fascinating and terrifying. Uh, let's go for regeneration. I'm going to be taking some damage here for a while. Actually, I died. Shoot. I think let's go for that shield build I wanted to go for instead. I love the idea of going for that vortex mine build, but it, I think I'm cursed to never succeed at it. So what do we want? You know, honestly, maybe dart. Do not ignite targets, but deal burn damage over a two second duration. Yep, 
Yeah, I, I could go for I could go for the darts. I guess we could also just try the Viper build. Cause it never really like poked at it. And we just saw deflagration, so in instead of going for the shield build, maybe we go for that burn build. Okay, let's go for Halo. I'm gonna just stack everything that burns. I don't know if I want to go for Dying Star, though. We might. Uh, let's see, Viper. When you take a hull hit, you disgorge a Venom Strike towards the offender. They do burn damage. When you crash head-on, you release 24 Venom Strike projectiles. Yeah, let's go for Viper. So Viper increases all of our burn damage by an additional 50%. Okay, uh, well, there's obsession. Don't get hit by that. I will die. Yeah, the one problem is I don't have much for area of effect at the moment. And so that puts me in a bad spot. Okay, Energize Shield, Solar Heart. Base damage for weapons that hit for every wild mod you own. Burn burn damage for every wild mod you own. Wow, that's actually Solar Heart's really good. The problem is the self-harm is uh worrying. Let's just go for the shield cooldown. Yeah, so I should do tons and tons and tons of damage to uh, enemies over time, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. This this whole business is going going to be new for me. Because I have I have not messed with this this combo. It is totally fresh and very new. We seem to be doing a little bit better, but I'm still having some issues. And I can also crash into enemies. That is that is something I I should probably keep in mind. That it is part of this thing's move set. I'm usually kind of leery about Crash, because Crash is scary. Oh, we can do... We can do, like, multi-projectiles. Stuff like Volley and stuff isn't going to mess with me. Let's see. Do we want regeneration? I mean, we do. I'm going to go Volley, though. We just need more projectiles on the field right now. Because my goal is to just spread as much fire as I can without going full Solar Heart. I'm also not sure what Solar Heart does for this weapon. Okay, do we want to do Rapid Fire? No, we want Scorching Wake. And then we also want to not die here. Rude. The problem is, we since we do damage over time, kind of, we're not in as good of a position. Kind of. Uh, let's go for Candescence. <gasps> and this is where regeneration would have probably come in extremely handy. I guess I should have just rammed the lasers in retrospect. Okay, let's go for some targeting. Because that's a boost. I guess I do do flat impact damage here, don't I? I don't have to do fire. But I want to. Let's 
Let's go for a butt shot. These things have pretty good range. And we want to just get as much fire on the field as we can. Oh, bad time for my eye to get itchy, but whatever. Well, not eye. Huh. Usually they fire things at me, but I guess not. And what we really want to get is declination. So I should probably work towards getting that. Uh, yeah, do we want full aid? I see. Yeah, we probably do. Just swarms of burning darts everywhere. Whoa, that was some damage. I guess maybe I should actually consider going for some level of crash on this one. Okay. More Scorching Wake. I kind of want to grab a bunch of Scorching Wake. I don't know if we can really extend the radius or the range on that. But in the off chance that we can, I really want to just torch things by driving by them. Okay, Convergence, yes. Okay, I didn't know he could do a lightning. Well, we've unlocked Apotheosis finally. And what could I have done differently on that run? Not much. I think the one consideration is like, don't go Viper. But that's boring. I like the idea of it. I think that I think that specific build had a lot of potential. I think I just don't know how to avoid that enemy particularly well. I think uh do we just have this be the last run? Yeah, probably. I mean we already had like a near high score run. I'm trying to ram you, sir. It didn't work, it was fine. Uh let's see. Yeah, let's just do a salty run back. I guess the one thing I should remember is that I have a burning shield. So I'm like, shield effect radius wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, let's go for the shield cooldown. We died last time mostly due to a lack of survivability, I think. I'm not even sure if we had much. Yeah, see, this is why I want to banish. I don't want either of these. Uh, let's see. We might have also spent too much on wild mods. It's... Not uncommon for me to do that. Okay, let's get regeneration this time around. Because, yeah, 40% extra healing is um, good ideas. I want to hug this guy to the point where he cooks. There we go. Because I forgot... I have a burning shield. I am an AoE. Though I think my charge is also, like, busted good. Uh, do we want to do skirmish? Maybe. Let's just go for rapid fire for now. Whoa. Interesting. You can... You can actually just end up inside the beetle. I was not actually aware of that. We want the shield effect radius. Let's... Let's go for that. Because if I can have bigger burn radius on this this shield, can do a lot of damage. I I don't think we want to go too much for it, but it would be funny if I had like uber huge burn. We could also go for ally. Get them to fire their own darts. That's an option. We have a lot of options. We have too many options is the problem.
Where are the enemies? The other thing I will say, and this is kind of like, I don't want to say like a random observation seeing as we're here. The nebulas in this game are top tier. What is this one? Charge shields. While charging your weapon, 20% of your charge value applies to your shield effect radius and shield effect power up to 100%. Whoa. Yeah, I think we I think we should go for that that shield run. Uh, do we How long is this video going to be? I don't know, man. I'm just uh I'm just chilling at the moment. Okay, the mines are gone. The lasers are still here. There we go. That crash damage effect is actually extremely helpful. Okay, get rid of that. Nuke them. The problem is... I really like these new enemy patterns. They're messing with me hard. Do I go for volley? Yeah. I think we want the homing. Even if it messes with my damage a little bit, I think it's just better. Okay. Grab both of those so we don't have to worry about it. Spread the fire. Torch the dudes, didn't torch them enough. It's fine. There we go. How much can you burn, sir? Body gear powers are improved, but adds the void. Cannot be banished. What we want is candescence. So I can get purge. We don't want dying star. Burnout reactors could actually be kind of funny. But yeah, let's let's go for candescence, increase our burn damage by 20%. And put us on the road of tor being able to torch some things. Cause I really want the enemies explode when they die. Let's grab some targeting though. I think the final upgrade also helps, like gets me some healing based on how much enemies are burning. Okay, so Purge is crash damage, and then gets us this. What's the other one? Rupture. And enemies rupture when destroyed. I forget which... Oh. Wait, no, that's Corrosion, which is good. Uh, let's just go for Purge. Admittedly, I think this is the crash damage bonus, which is slightly less good for what I'm trying to do here. But we're still using it from time to time. And oh, blessed be, it's the safer secondary boss. All the new bosses that got added are tough for me to fight. Here, it's not so bad. Okay, let's just not be there. He can burn outside. Though he did not last long. Uh, let's see. Twin strike, extra projectile, reduce spread, reduce recovery and shield cooldown. Not a big fan of that. Purification, though. Reduces my weapon damage, increases my burn damage, ignite damage, and I heal for every ignited enemy. Oh, but only up to five. Interesting. If you have no shield, you actually, um... Right. Whoop. Oh. That was... Places I don't like to be. That went very poorly for me. Let's just get guidance. This build doesn't have that much stopping power. I think is going to be a lasting woe. Let's 
Let's actually just approach from the back. There we go. I don't know how much HP it has, but... It can burn. I guess the one problem is the burn stacks don't transfer. So we just burn out whatever the local part is. Whereas I think if I toast the front. It'll actually kill him, maybe. I think I've met my match. I guess one other option is actually to just hug him closely. But that's risky. Okay, so we have Warpath. What does this one do? Oh, Strafing Strikes. We know what that one does. Uh, let's go for Blast Radius. There we go. We'll be able to burn that guy before he does anything. And then we want to just kind of nestle ourselves up kind of in the middle of this boy. Because it burns on a per-segment basis. Guess it doesn't help when I've lost my shields. But yeah, I can I can use my fire shields to kind of cook everything. Two trains. Oh boy. This is messy. Ow. Oh. It's rupture. Do we want velocity? Not overwhelmingly. Turn specialists. Discharge. We've done discharge today, though. Because I could go for burst fire, aim for the focus. We could go for firing array. It's okay. I think I'm just going to go for the butt shot. Bad place to be. Bad place to be when you're hurting. I got spoiled by the sword. Oh god, there is no safe places to be here. I don't, do not remember this game being this hard. But on the flip side, that is kind of what makes it good. Okay, let's just let him burn for a second. There we go. I do have a lot of rerolls. We could start going, trying to get the things that I'd need. Ah, corrosion. Corrosion is extra burn damage and transfers from one section to the next. That was a whistle. And yeah, I'd like to pick up the um, the final burn upgrade as well. All right, we want to just get up in there. There we go. Whoop. That was my shields. Getting cooked. It's fine. Okay, go for that. There we go. I think I might just leverage my crash damage here. Uh, let's see, Concentrated Blast does get us antimatter rounds, which would be very funny. I think I'm just going to reroll. Hope for the best. There is Focus Fire. Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, Warpath is good. 
I mean, that's good for projectile size and the da the damage might be good, though. I don't know if that affects my burn. Let's go for a bit of survivability. Because extra health, I believe, affects my regeneration as well. How's this boss? Unlike the other bosses, I can deal with you. All I have to do is just burn him. Okay. Cook him quick. Before the lasers wipe me out. There we go. I'm a little vulnerable to those guys. I don't I don't have the sweep that I need. It's okay, we're getting there. I think this build has some pretty good scalability. It just has to get there. Yeah, Convergence is not that bad of a damage down, I don't think. Not for the amount of projectiles. I went from like 40 damage down to 26, but my main goal here is to stack as much burn on enemies as I possibly can. Okay. Not that I've done that. Could go for Radiant Shields. Not a bad idea. Increases my radius. Does slow my shields down, though, a lot. Otherwise, I could go for absorption as I'm taking a bunch of damage. Let's go for that. Okay. So where are we at in this process? Kind of messy. Definitely not as strong as Sword Run, but I think that's just true of all status effects runs. They're always going to have some limitations. The main... What the hell? I've... Have I seen that pattern before? I have no idea. Let's get up and in this. I've got AoE shields that I should be utilizing. Okay, do we go for burst fire? We could, yeah. That isn't too bad. Usually the gap on burst fire can be a little spooky. And it's not something I want to deal with. But here I think we're fine. And now, probably just due to the, I don't want to say the slight visual elements of what's going on here, I'm thinking of Grave of the Fireflies. And I feel bad. Okay. That is, that is one sad movie. I tried to stay away from sad anime especially. I want that, but we want Rupture. Because I want to get that super cool perk associated with it. Okay, and we don't want to be there. What I'm doing for the most part is just spreading my burn in large, bursty waves. Okay. Just scoot, avoid, post them. I guess I should just hang out there, because... My shields, I believe, are actually some of my best damage right now. Uh, sure, I'll grab... I'll grab Spontaneous Generation. Just a little bit of, like, free bonus damage unrelated to my usual setup is probably wise. Okay, and this is the danger one. Is the Crucible. At least I don't need to be up close and personal with it. But 
but I do need to worry because, yeah, I can't warp, so I can't avoid these things. The best thing I can possibly do, I mean, honestly. Oh, nope, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm so close to dead, though. I'm dead. I like the burn build. But I think I... There's probably some things I was missing. Frankly, it was the uh, healing upgrade that would have done it. Okay. So we want something we can charge to high heaven, Salvo. Then I have to decide if I want to go for... If I want to go for the Sentinel ship, or what? Okay, so next question is, base damage divided between enemies within its radius, recovering 1.5% of damage's shields. I think we want Siphon. Reroll. Yeah. Okay. So this gives us extra shield effect radius and just some shield bonuses across the board. We want shield cooldown. Do we want galvanic shielding? Heck if I know, maybe. Let's see, revelation, no. We want shield durability. We want to get omni shield pretty quick. And like shield regeneration and some other things. I wonder if I can actually get my shield effect radius and shield effect so high that it actually does as much damage as a gun. Whoa. Like when this happens. Okay. Where are you at? Reflexive shields? Yes. Flash shielding. I don't like it. Yeah, we do we do want sanctuary, I think. Wait, create a large sanctuary on the battlefield that follows you. That's new. Your shield still protects you, but the shield effects originate from the sanctuary instead of you. What? Huh. Oh. So Spitfire is the boss's name. No, it's probably the exact same effects. I'm not sure if I really like the idea. Ooh. Actually does a lot of damage. Like, I can, I can actually just cook enemies by staying near them already. All right, Omni Shield. Base, shields, shields, damage resistance, shield effect power, shields on cooldown, greater resistance cooldown delays from taking damage. There we go. Whoop. Immediately die. Okay, there we go. Well, it does a lot of damage already. I think the solar shield probably would have been better if I want to cook things. But I like the idea of getting this one to be huge and effective because I can just vamp shields off of enemies. Okay, so where was I? Got, uh, jump scared. There was, oh no, there's the explosions. I'm trying to remember. What does this one get me? Oh, that's Celestial Surge. Which is not terrible, but it doesn't really fit my build. 
Uh, yeah, let's go for the regeneration, because I think we're going to want the regenerative shields as part of this mix. Just because uh, regen is not going to help me much. Maybe. Now, the other thing we could desperately use is just like a whole bunch of wild mods. So if we get Obsession, I'm going for it. Oh, gosh. Reflexive shields. Uh, huge? I think we also want to, want to get our hands on Galvanic Outburst if we can. Just hang out next to these guys. How much damage is that? Maybe not as much as I'd like. Radiant shields. Okay. So it splits the damage. The problem is, it gets to the point where it's splitting all of the damage and is doing, like, nothing to these suckers. Which is not great. Weaponized F shield affects any shields. Targets within the radius take extra damage, modified by shield power. Absolutely. And maybe we don't want Sanctuary here. I'll have to look at the uh, the metrics on it. Yeah, it provides damage resistance, but is that to both or nah, I don't know. The other thing I could mess around with is like turrets and some other things. I think I'm oh well, we want obsession. We want core shielding here. I forgot. Because core shielding specifically increases our base shields, uh, which is very helpful in this situation. Let's see. What do we want here? Yeah, adaptive armor. And we want to we want to go for the charge shots too. If we can get our hands on those. Okay, so there's blast radius. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Let's just go for channeling. There we go. It's a weird build. That's kind of the beauty of it, though. I don't think we actually want volatile shielding. Because I'm not firing very often. My entire goal is to kind of n never fire my gun. I mean, I can. There we go. Okay, so this is this boyo. Wait, 30% of your max hold to your max shields, or vice versa. Lesser of the two is converted to the greater. Hehehehehehe. <laughs> I am an even smaller bean than I was before. Okay. Gotta watch out. This dude can kill me. This is not a boss that I'm going to be able to face easily. As I don't do any damage to him. That's why I was considering, yeah, maybe solar shields would have been the trick. On the plus side, it doesn't really represent much of a threat to me. 
Like, we're kind of just neutral to each other. I guess that's the trick. I need to ram him. Okay, get my shields back up. Yeah, we might want to consider going for flash shielding here. I took out one of his eyes. Oh. Okay. But does he not fire missiles out of the, the busted eyes? He might not. Yeah, I can take some risks here and use reflexive, uh, reflexive shielding to mess him up. Oh. Got him. Well, that took some work. Yeah, so my DPS on this build is bad. Survivability is pretty good, though. There we go. I think the problem is my tick rates is actually kind of rough. The fire shields just add a stacking burn. But this does not. So we have Phantom Strike, Inversion, Masochism. I think whole strength is good. I want energized shields. But you know what? Here's some extra damage. Just to give myself something. I guess I can just ram people. It does work. What I was hoping for is some explosions. Regression is terrifying. I don't think we want regression yet. I like the idea of it, though. Okay, so we have hidden power, global damage, max hull shields, shield effect, power. This one's really good, sort of. Otherwise, we go for flash shielding. Let's go for the flash shielding. My max shields are lower, but I can get that back up again. But they come back way faster now, which is kind of helpful. I think part of my problem with this, this prospective build is very few things scale off of or scale my shield effect power. Just kind of as a rule. Or my radius, either. But I think we we need this if I want to get weaponized shields, don't I? Okay. Void for a second. The little guy's just getting toasted, giving, giving me my shields back. I'm making it work. It's a weird run. We're definitely in a safer position than, than the last run. Okay, Gemini Protocol would kill me. Candescence, I don't think, does too much. Blast radius isn't that helpful. I guess I could go for strength. Because an amount of my my stats are converted upwards. 
And so I think I think that actually was a big boost to my my shields overall like max value. Oh, interesting. Uh when we take damage it just kicks it back down a notch. It doesn't actually reset it. It just kicks it back a degree. That's actually really helpful to know. Let's see, there it is. Core shielding. Okay, then I'm just going to vamp off his shields. Whoa! I don't think I've ever seen an asteroid that big before. Uh huh. And that would be why. Interesting, his minions are his vulnerability. Okay, there goes a couple. I adore this fight. It's what? Wait. I didn't realize we were space invaders now, but here we are. Okay, I have to watch out for that. We are taking some actually serious damage here. Never mind, we're good. Okay, this is weird chaos. Yeah, I think we need um, Discharge or Galvanic Outburst at this point, which would also do massive amounts of damage. I think a number of my abilities already do massive amounts, but... I really like this boss fight. It's very strange. And yeah, I can I can effectively just like go up to him and then torch him with my scorching wake. It's not exactly Primo. Think I'm dead? I'm not dead yet. I'm dead now. Dang. It was worth a shot. We just needed other abilities. It's fine. It was fun to experiment with. I think I think the real answer is Siphon is no good. At least not for doing that. I was hoping that it would steal more shields than it was, but because it was being split across like a bunch of enemies, it just wasn't stealing enough. And there was no way to scale more damage. Anyway, uh, this video has gone on more than long enough. I actually have no idea how long it's gone on, but I uh, had a blast with this. Uh, so I guess one last reminder that Nova Drift is dirt cheap right now. I think it's like six bucks or five bucks or something like that. Uh, so if you've never picked it up, if you've never played it before, now is the best possible time to dive in, especially because 1.0 is coming soon. Uh, but I guess otherwise, if you like this video in any way, shape or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.